Everybody welcome back. I'm Yumble and this video is all about mods in City Skylines. If you're setting up a new city with mods, there's a few things that you can influence before you even start building. I want to go over a groundwork for setting up mods in City Skylines, some do's, some don'ts, and some specific mods that I really like using in City Skylines. In the description, I've also included a collection that has all of my current mods, so if you're looking to see everything I'm using, please navigate to the Steam Workshop and check that out. Without further ado, here's how to set up a city with mods. The first thing I always recommend when starting a new game with mods in City Skylines is going to the content manager at the main menu, clicking on mods, and just checking that your mods are active. So I'm going to do sort by enabled order descending, and I'll be able to see which mods are disabled. If I see something I want as part of this list, I can just check that box to ensure that the mod is turned on. If you're going to be using any mods or assets in City Skylines, I strongly recommend Loading Screen Mod because it will tell you if you're missing any assets that belong in the game or in the save file. If it turns out that you are missing assets, it will tell you while you're loading the game. They'll be highlighted in orange. I'll, I should be able to show you that in just a moment. But I do recommend checking the save reports in this directory box within the loading screen mod options. When you navigate to this directory, there will be an HTML file complete with links to all of the missing assets so that you can go right to the Steam Workshop with the link and subscribe to the missing assets, which can fix problems in your city. Now that I've selected all of the mods I'm going to use, I'm going to go to New Game, select the map that I want to play on. This is from the new map pack, uh, Meandering River. Good looking map. And I'm going to hit Start. We can change the name later once I've decided on a name for the city. But this will prompt Loading Screen Mod to actually appear. It's going to go through each asset that the game is loading and each content creator pack, each DLC, and it's going to total up how much is being loaded into your RAM, uh, how much is being loaded into the page file, how many assets you're loading, and kind of an approximation of how long it takes to, to actually load the save. Right now, this is a, a new game is essentially an empty save just with uh, map parameters that the map maker has set. Uh, if you're missing any assets, they will appear at this point in orange or red. I've currently fixed all of mine before starting uh, recording because I don't want to deal with it. But yeah, normally they would appear there. And if there's any orange or red assets in loading screen mod, you can navigate to that directory that we talked about a moment ago. And there will be links to each of those missing assets. Also, if you notice these numbers turn red or orange, that means that your system is running out of RAM and it's spilling over into your page file. So I would recommend ensuring that you're operating within your means when it comes to how much RAM your computer has. Now that the game has loaded, I would recommend going to your traffic manager options. So this would be one of the mods that you would have to enable at the main menu in the content manager. But you can go through this and make some important changes to the game before even starting your city. Uh, I'm going to turn the simulation accuracy up to high for this, uh, allow the changes to be applied right away. Uh, I'm also going to go to gameplay and turn on the advanced vehicle AI. This is pretty uh, computer heavy, I would say. This is pretty CPU heavy, but I'm going to turn dynamic lane selection up to 50%. I'm going to disable despawning. You can allow traffic to get wild or vehicles to get wild. Um, <laughs> Based on a percentage that you that you designate, I'm just going to leave it at 0% because it looks weird when people go flying around corners. Uh, what else? I like realistic parking. CPU heavy, but I would turn that on right away. Uh, prevent unnecessary transfers is a good way to go. Policies. I'm going to turn off traffic lights. I want to manage those manually on my part. Uh, I'm going to turn on dedicated turning lanes. Um, maybe I'll change that later. Vehicle restrictions, I'm going to turn to high. I'm going to ban vehicles, uh, private cars and trucks on bus lanes. Highway specific lane merging and splitting helps a lot with highway stuff. Do, 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 do. That's basically it. Um, I like setting up traffic manager stuff immediately uh, just to avoid issues when my city gets up and running. Another few mods that I'm using are big city aka 25 tiles, which will let me eventually unlock the 25 most central tiles on the map. 
I found that 81 tiles has a, has a couple problems, so I've switched to 25 tiles. And I'm also using a mod called Cross the Line. Now, Cross the Line lets you influence the highway uh, before you actually start building on the map. It lets you build highway and delete highway from outside of the buildable area. So my goal here is to actually swap out this trumpet interchange for probably some sort of roundabout interchange that I'll build in a little bit. But cross the line will let me make these decisions and influ influence these networks. Part of my goal with this build is going to be to de-emphasize roads and highways in this city. So what I'd like to do now is show you something really cool called RON. RON is short for Replace Our Networks. And it will allow me to take this rather large six lane highway. So three lanes in each direction. I'm going to click on that. And you'll see it highlights the whole thing going across the, uh, you can see it at the top there, across the map. I actually want to swap it for two lane highway. So I'm going to allow vanilla things to be visible and it's not going to be the same width but i'm going to swap the entire thing for two lane highway let's see if i can get this two lane highway this came with uh with the mass transit uh pack the mass transit dlc and i'm going to hit replace all that will replace everything except for the end pieces so now you can see these are all oops, i'll have to fix my bloom in a little bit um, but these are all two-lane highway now, except for the very end pieces. These are still three-lane highway spawn. I'm actually going to make these three-lane as well, just to give it a little bit of uh, just to give it a little bit of space so that cars can merge down to two lanes. I'm going to do that on both sides, just to make sure the spawn points don't get weird. But yeah, this is all cross the line that's that's allowing me to do this, and Ron to replace our networks. Another trick that I like to do is use roads color changer plus plus to designate kind of a darker tone for roads. So if you hold shift and move all of the sliders down in the roads color changer settings, you can kind of get a more asphalty look from the roads. Still one of my most asked questions in the comments, how do you get the roads so dark? This is the answer. I believe it's called road options in the Steam Workshop. Um, I've got them all around 85% or so. Eh, give or take. One other thing that you can influence before starting your build are what vehicles are allowed to spawn. You can always subscribe to new vehicles in the Steam Workshop. Just make sure that you always have one type of each vehicle active on your, on your map, otherwise you might get an error. But you can influence this by going to Advanced Vehicle Options. So we've got the button down in the bottom right there. Uh, this is a mod that I strongly recommend. Let's say the donut van kind of bugs you. I don't know if that's true. It's true for me, but <laughs> at your discretion. So I'm going to go to industry delivery. The box truck is fine. Maybe I don't want the bug spray van either. So I'm going to disallow the vehicle from spawning, but also in an immediate sense, I'm going to remove the driving ones and the parked ones. There's no parked ones. There's no parking on the map yet, but keep an eye on the donut van. I'm going to disallow it from spawning at the edge of the map. And I'm also going to remove driving. So there it goes. Uh, the hot dog van is also a bit of a mess in my opinion. So I'm going to stop it from spawning. I'm going to remove driving. So those three awkward looking vehicles are gone. And like I said, you can subscribe to different iterations of each of these categories in the workshop. Just make sure that you, if you disable the default garbage truck or biofuel garbage truck, make sure that you have a replacement option in place. Same with trains, same with citizens, same with everything. Make sure that you have each category. If you want to disable the default taxi cab, you should have another one lined up in order to fill that void to avoid any errors in your game. So I'm looking around my new map and I see these trees. These are the default vanilla conifer number one. I would like to switch that out. I think I have a better looking content creator tree from the recent content creator pack. Uh, the This one, the generic pine tree, looks much more alive, frankly. So what I'm gonna do is similar to Ron, if you remember, we, sw we swapped out the highway for two lane highway at the beginning. Ron can also do train tracks and other networks. Really any network can be switched out. But for the trees, we're gonna use Ron's cousin, Bob. 
So it's it's Alt N to bring up Ron, and then Alt N again to bring up Bob. Bob is the same thing, but it's it's a prop and tree replacer. So I'm going to click on the offending tree. Uh, it's a conifer. I'm going to swap it to generic. Let's see, generic pine tree is the one. So I'm going to let's do it. I'm going to hit the check button. Boom. Oh, cool. So I've swapped out everything, all of the trees that were there for this generic pine tree, which is a, a little nicer asset. You can also use Bob to swap out things within a given building. Let's say a building has a, a bench on it that you don't like that you want to replace. Or let's say a road has a uh, prop on it that you'd like to replace. Anything like that. You can replace props, trees, assets. It's very, very flexible. And it also Bob also works globally where you can swap out the trees on the map or say the rocks on the map or anything. Anything. Very, very flexible. I would recommend Bob and also Ron. Everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm glad I can talk about how to set up a city with mods and city skylines. This one was very heavily requested after my previous video went up, which was about all the mods that I use in city skylines. So this one seemed like a logical kind of next step to get people going in the game. Uh, if you want to see this city being built, I'm going to be constructing it over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash yumbletv. So feel free to follow over there. We also have a community Discord uh, linked in the description. Feel free to join the Discord if you have any questions or uh, if you want to post pictures of your city, that kind of thing. Also, feel free to subscribe here. I try to come out with two YouTube videos a week about City Skylines, and I've got a bunch more ideas that I want to get across to everyone. So really appreciate you subscribing. Everyone, thank you so much for hanging out. I've been Yumble. I'll see you in the next stream or the next video.